Hey guys, we had a successful on back at Stillwater Cove, got a nice link cloth, and now what we're going to do is do a little uh, vacuum seal marinade with a little miso glaze, so that in the future we can do a little bit of the uh, miso glaze smoked link cod over some rice and stir fried vegetables. Let's take a look at how we do that. So here we go. I first start off with a quarter cup of the miso. We're gonna use the same amount of soy sauce. Next, we're gonna use about half a teaspoon of some rice wine vinegar. This is gonna add a little bit of acidity. We're also gonna complement that with about a half, about a teaspoon of sesame oil. And about the same amount of honey. Now the sweetness is gonna help bring and balance all these flavors together. Now let's just make it a half a tablespoon. Because you know what, that's just cooking. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of spice. We're gonna do a little bit of sriracha. We're gonna do that to taste, and then I also gonna add a little bit of wasabi, just so we can add a little bit of complexity of spices. All right, next we're gonna add some sesame seeds. This is just more for decorations, but over the marinade, this is gonna leach out a little bit of flavor and definitely add to a little bit of crispiness and texture when we actually cook the fish. And then this is the key: we're gonna add water as we mix all this up kind of work it all in you know if you had some like dashi stock or like fish stock or like you know any other flavor enhancer like that that would be a great substitute for the water let's take a little taste so I'm thinking this needs like a little bit more soy but I think it needs a little bit more citrus we're gonna complement that with a little bit of lime. A little bit of soy. Just squeeze some lime in. Let's mix this in. Do another taste. It's gonna see where we're at. I actually think this needs a touch of sweetness. Just a little bit more honey. Welcome back guys. We got our vegetables prepped, rice going in the rice cooker, and of course our miso marinated lingcod. Let's get started. So we're going to start off with a 
garlic and get that going. This is going to open up. Just starting to come in, so we know this is not quite ready, but we're getting close. We're starting to get on the tail end a little bit of a caramelization. 